Okay guys, I just barely got this notification that popped up. It's been a while, but it looks like in 1 minute and 40 seconds, the ISS is going to be making a low pass over here at, where's the degreement? Start elevation of 10. I think it's going to be max of 21 degrees or something like that. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. I don't have much time, but I want to try it with this new uh, TYT UV, uh, THUV3R, uh, which is a new handheld, mini 3 watt handheld I've got here. Um, I'm going to turn this guy on and let's get it ready. First things first, I think this is in FM radio mode. I think there's something to be oh, yeah. by having okay, so I'm going to press function, which is this little guy here, and turn FM off. There we go. Now I'm in channel mode, so I'm going to go to VFO so I can enter the frequency. One, four, five, eight, zero, zero. Now I'm not going to hear anything, of course, because my squelch is still on. So F, it looks like one is squelch. And then there's probably some trick. Oh, shoot. Probably just can't can't just turn it down. Yeah, there's some trick. You got to do enter. Okay, ent, E-N-T. Beep boo, beep boo. Okay, here it goes. SQL zero, it says. And then I press enter. Oh yeah, the sound of victory. I gotta turn the volume up. So I'm gonna uh, park my camera here for a second. And uh, let's see, uh, what should I do? Hold it behind me like this. I've got the other, I've got this one on standby. This is an old uh, Bofeng UV3R Plus, which is also nice. They're about, they're roughly the same size. Uh, but this one's, this one's much easier on the user. Uh, oh shoot, it's passing over. Okay, so turn up the volume. Let's do this. I just turned on Robot 36. Get this all situated here. Okay, so Robot 36 is in automatic mode right now. It's a low pass, so it might take a while before it really picks anything up. In fact, I think I'm going to extend the antenna here. There we go. So, uh, we'll see if we hear anything. Looks like the pass is... Um, so it's from uh, camera left to ca kind of camera straight ahead that way to the east, which is to my right. Okay. Okay, that's way too quiet. <laughs> oh shoot, that is way too quiet. Oh man, that's way too quiet. I don't know what's going on. If that's my receiver, I didn't bring the other radio out with me. But I'm thinking that's a receiver thing. I've never heard of that quiet before with the squelch volume so loud. I wonder if the receiver or the trans uh, transmitter volume is, uh, or the transmitter gain is, is down. That's weird. So that pass pretty much sucked. Um, not sure what what was the uh, what was the deal there. If that was like a, a radio issue with the receiver, uh, you can see I just received a bunch of you know noise artifacts there. Um, not sure if that was the TH UV3R here. Uh, because you, you heard how loud the, the volume was, the noise level was with the squelch turned off like that and no signal. So 
Uh, could also uh, be that, you know, it's just something up with the... I'm thinking the transmitter gain is probably fine. It usually is, They but they did have a problem with it a uh, couple uh, months ago, I want to say. Anyway, we'll see how that goes uh, with this guy. Um, next time I'm going to grab both of these, though, because that was uh, pretty uh, pretty dismal for the... Um, for what it could have been. I mean, I've had passes that are pretty low before that haven't had that problem at all. So uh, we'll see how it is. I hope there's nothing wrong with this receiver, um, that it's not an issue here. I haven't used it that much yet, so I'm not really sure. Um, so we'll see you guys. And uh, gosh, well, hopefully I can get some good uh, imagery during this um, this weekend's Passovers uh, by, by the ISS. But uh, uh, anyway, I'll keep updating via video. Okay, take care guys Okay guys, so uh, as you heard last time uh, last time just now on this little guy the the volume was really quiet on the ISS transmission and It looks like I'm just looking at reddit in the amateur radio uh, Subreddit and sure enough. There's a post that says ISS SFTV SSTV is quiet again, so uh, looks like we're going to have to wait. Last time it took them like a day, maybe 24 hours, to, to get the information over to the astronauts up there to fix the transmitter and uh, adjust the volume. But definitely you got a sense of how quiet it, it was versus the uh, you know normal noise level. So it should have been a lot louder than that. So I thought I'd add this in here uh, just as I published the video uh, to let you guys know what that was and, and how to tell. Maybe Maybe now that you've seen that, you'll know how to tell. Uh, that it's actually running really quiet because that can be frustrating like you saw I couldn't pick up a, a reasonable signal to do anything with so uh, It's worth knowing about and uh, Interesting experience anyway, so uh, I'm gonna try again tomorrow. We'll see I'll, I'll stay tuned in here the best place to tune in for the signal quieting uh, Issues and things like that is Twitter if you look up uh, at the SSTV hashtag uh, there's a guy there um, you'll find pretty quickly who uh, posts uh, about issues that they're having and uh, whether they've been fixed and when they were fixed and things like that. So uh, take care guys. Hope to update you soon with some, uh, you know, ISS, SSTV uh, imagery from, from tomorrow. Okay, take care.